Well, there's quite a bit of pressure on him to do better than the president did, do the kinds of things that the president did not do. For example, talk about the 47 percent and, and, and get into the issues about taxes and how much tax cuts Romney wants. And, and uh, he has that pressure on him. He has to watch out that he doesn't get too aggressive because th th to overcompensate for the president not being aggressive enough. The Romney-Ryan tax plan will raise taxes on middle-class families with a child. We don't want a stagnant economy that fosters dependency. We've added 15 million people to the food stamp rolls in the last four years in large measure because there's no opportunity, there's no economic growth. Ryan is still kind of an unknown quantity to the American public and the voting public. He needs to be able to come up with, uh, with explain his positions because he's certainly going to get attacked on his positions dealing with Medicare and Social Security. He's going to have to defend those, but he has to kind of defend them in a way that do not sound too wonkish. He has a tendency to be a little bit on the wonky side and talk about and, and, and lapse into congressional speak, which does not really communicate very well.